Hey everyone, this is Kevin, KK6DCT. I'd like to give you a demo of a, a packet radio project that I've been working on. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to set up something interactive like a, like a BBS. And what initially got me thinking of this was I thought, given the, the text based nature of packet radio, I thought it'd be interesting to set up something like a, like a text adventure game, like Colossal Cave or Zork or something like that. But it's not surprising that there's been a few people who have already set up things like that, and uh, there's some some uh, articles on the web uh, if you can walk through the describe how to set those up. But I thought, well, if if that's possible, then what other things could you could you set up in a similar kind of way? So I was thinking of setting up some some interactive things that you could connect into over packet, and I'm going to give you a demo of some of the things I got set up. So first off, um, what we're looking at here is this is all running on a, a Raspberry Pi 3 and it's connected to a Wuxon 2 meter handy talkie and it's connected to the Pi with a, a signal link. Um, so we're just running uh, low power, uh, the Wuxon's connected to a Ed Fong antenna which is just hanging in my window there and uh, in a couple of minutes when I've done the initial setup I'll show you connecting in with uh, another 2 meter uh, station and we'll, we'll test out the, the BBS. So to start off with, um, this is running with Direwolf, so I'm just going to start this up. This is uh, the software based TNC. So we will get this one in and then a couple of steps just to set things up. Um, so I need to start up the X25 stack and then I've also got a few things for the BBS to start up. So if I look in this file here, we'll start up NetROM and uh, attach it to X25. So we'll start this one in. Okay, and then that's ready to go. Um, so I'll leave this window here running so we can see what's going on inside um, uh, Direwolf here. Um, but at this point we should be able to call out as well. So I can give you a quick demo of that. Um, so if we do uh, an AX call uh, to uh, uh, 37 and that should dial out. And off it goes and it connects and we can look at the nodes that are over there. And there we go, so that's all connected and good. Alright, so we'll just disconnect from that for a minute. So that side's all up and running and ready to go. So we'll just say bye. And that's good. And if we go back over to Direwolf, we can see the the packets are going back and forwards there as we were we were talking to to that node. All right. So now I'm going to switch gears and I'll show you uh, dialing in from another station, and we'll check out the features that are on the on the B BBS that I've set up here. Okay. So what we're looking at now is uh, a terminal screen which is connected to an AEA PK232 TNC. Just turn down the volume a bit there, and uh, that's connected to uh, ICOM 2 meter radio, and we're on 144.37 right now. And so what I'm going to show is connecting through from this second 2 meter station. We're going to connect into the, the BBS that's running on the Raspberry Pi and using the the other 2 meter handy talkie. So on the the screen where you can see Direwolf, you can see the, the messages going by. That's the the packets that that station's picking up. So you better see the interaction there. And then over on the the uh, the Amber uh, VT terminal here, we'll call into the the BBS and connect and see what we've got set up. So first of all, I'm gonna connect to my station KK6 DC T6, and we'll connect. I'll turn the volume up so we can. Hear the uh, hear the packets going backs and forwards. There we go. All right, so we're connected. So what I've got set up here in this first menu is a number of things that I set up. There's some weather lookups. There's some news, and um, like I said before, I was interested in getting some interactive games set up as well. So there's Colossal Cave. There's Orc. Um, so let's take a look through some of these things here. Um, so first one was I wanted to do like an interactive weather lookup. Uh, so you want to see the weather right now. There we go, and it comes back with the weather. Or if you want to do five day, five day forecast, that is there too. There we 
go. And then let's say, let's do the five day forecast for Sacramento. So that is on F, no, W4. So it should prompt me for a city name. Here we go. So we could say uh, Sacramento. And then off it goes. And it's calling an uh, app on the Raspberry Pi. Does it look up for Sacramento? All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's just go back, see what else was in the menu. So we also had uh, some news uh, headlines as well. So these are slightly more interesting. So what these are doing um, is connecting to the Raspberry Pi and then I've got uh, a Lambda on AWS Cloud which is running, which is going off, pulling back the RSS news feeds from a number of different websites and then doing some parsing on it and stripping out any characters that won't display on the terminal and just showing the, the headlines. So if we select N1 from the menu here, go off, here we go, we're going to get the ARRL headlines, and back comes the news. And then the other ones I had set up, um, amateur radio news line as well, that was on N2. So same thing, it goes off, connects to the, the uh, node there, and calls the app that's running in the cloud gets the RSS news feed, strips off some uh, characters and stuff, and then brings back just the, the headlines. And what was the other one? I think there was one more. We also have, oh, the Southgate Amateur Radio News. And off it goes. And back comes the news. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my demo. It was uh, some fun setting this up, and I've got a few other ideas for some other interesting things I could get set up as well. So I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thanks.